and as you can see, like, she looks good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about synthetic wigs. So I know some people don't really care for synthetic wigs, but I understand that there are some people who uh, may not be able to afford human hair, so therefore they resort to synthetic wigs, which is not a problem. Or even if you could afford it, maybe you just like synthetic wigs as well. So um, I actually like both. I really like both. I like human hair and I like synthetic wigs. So today I'm going to give you guys tips on how to find the perfect synthetic wig at your local beauty supply store. Um, these are some good tips that could help you find a good synthetic wig if um, you are at a hair store and maybe you can't try it on and so you're worried about what it's going to look like. So if you use these tips, I'm pretty sure you will find the perfect wig for yourself without even having to try it on. So number one, the very first thing you want to make sure is that the style will fit you. Okay. And um, I know sometimes the cap sizes are um, smaller than other cap sizes, so you have to kind of be aware of that as well. Some hairstyles are like where, you know, it kind of cuts off some of your face and it doesn't frame the face right, if that makes sense, you know, and some are maybe more wider. So it just depends on your face shape. You want to keep in mind your specific face shape. Well, I think um, most people kind of have an idea of what styles fit them best. So um, that's one of the first things I look for is like the styles that fit me best. Like for instance, I know for sure I don't look right with the middle part. So I don't really go for wigs that have the middle part like there, like permanently. Some wigs you can change up the part, but some wigs it's where the middle part is like that's just all you get is the middle part. So you want to make sure that you are keeping in mind the kind of style that you're picking out um, because you want to make sure it, it works for you. The next thing is color. So when it comes to color, you want to make sure that you are getting a color that complements your skin best. All right. So a little rule of thumb that I like to do is I like to kind of hold it up to my arm. So when I'm at the beauty supply store, I hold it up to my arm and I just kind of put the hair on my arm and just see if it looks good together. Usually if it doesn't, that means it won't look good on my head. So I don't go for it, you know, so I don't, I just move on to the next wig. If I feel like it doesn't complement my skin good, I'm just like, no, <laughs> most likely it won't look good on my head. So you want to keep that in mind, um, you know, when it comes to color. So. Um, like I said, first style and the second one is color. Number three, the hairline. You want to make sure that your hairline looks natural as possible, okay? So most likely if it looks natural on the mannequin, then it will look natural on you, all right? So what I like to go for are the wigs that have the hand-tied knots in the front. So it looks more realistic. It looks more like scalp. So when you look at a wig, you can kind of tell which ones um, have more like, you know, hand tied knots than the other ones. So, and um, it's going to look way more realistic and especially if they are already um, pre-plugged. So that's another thing I go for is when it comes to the hairline, you want to make sure that the wig is at least pre-plugged, okay? The very last tip is quality. You want to make sure that the synthetic fibers are of good quality and that you can at least put heat on it. Um, I feel like those wigs last the longest. All right, so in order for you guys to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about, I wanted to show you guys a visual. So I went to these hair stores, like three of my favorite hair stores in the city, just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, and so we're going to start with this one right here. Um, so the first thing I check is the style. This kind of style is the type of style I like. It's just down. Um, it has plenty of lace. So as you can see, like it looks really natural. And the color looks good as well. So this is one that I would get, for instance. And I'm just holding it up to my arm just to check the color out better. 
and I think it looks good. So that, for instance, is one that I would get. This brown one is a no for me because of the color. Now this one right here, um, this burgundy one, uh, I think that one looks good. Let's check in the color and it looks good with my skin tone. And as you can see, that hairline looks really, really good. It looks natural and you have plenty of lace in the front. So you can change up the style as much as you want to. Uh, this hair looks good too. As you can see, the hairline looks good. Um, as you know, you can always pick a different color. I didn't really like this color up against my skin, but um, I'm pretty sure they had other colors. And you can also put heat on it, so that's a plus. To me, this is one that I would go for as well because it just, it looks good overall. All right, so this wig right here is a good example of what I wouldn't get. Um, first of all, the hairline is not good um, and you don't hardly have any lace, as you can see. And also on top of that, the color at the root are like really, the color's like harsh. It's like a really, really black, black. Like, I don't like that. The bottom of it is fine. I love that red, but other than that, no. This right here is another example of something I wouldn't get. Uh, as you can see, that hairline is super full and I don't wanna have to do all that work, okay? So if I'm buying a wig, it needs to be pretty much ready to go and have little to do, you know, um, when I take it home and put it on, I don't have to do so much to it, so. All right, so here's a good braided wig. Um, as you can see, the lace, it looks really, really good. It's a lot of lace right there, so. Um, this is a type of braided wig I will go for because you have, like I said, plenty of lace in the front to give it that realistic effect. This color is actually nice too, but um, in case I didn't like the color, I could just go with a different color. This is another nice um, braided wig. Looks really good. As you can see, that hairline looks good. It has plenty of lace. This is a really good wig. These wigs have came a long ways, so there are some really good options, more than what it used to be. All right, so this, for example, so when it comes to style, like I wouldn't go for this because like this style usually don't look right on me. And as you can see, it's not much lace and it's the middle part, so it's just so many no's. <laughs> um it's just so many just negatives for me so i would not do this i'm pretty sure this might look good on somebody but not me yeah my head too big for all that so <laughs> so that's a no and this is like pretty much the same so no i wouldn't do either of these um no okay so anyway now on to these wigs right here so these are really pretty um these are like more like you know these are more style they have i love how these wigs come like styled already like it's just showing you the possibilities of what you can do with them and um this hair store um specifically have some really great options when it comes to color and that's what i like about this hair store they have like really nice colors um, a very very good variety of colors and this these wigs right here most of these wigs I will get all right could you see like how like how much lace you have and the hairline looks good and look, and look at these beautiful natural colors here are some of my favorite wigs from over the years check these out
actually wearing a synthetic wig right now and as you can see like she looks good okay so she looks good and she is synthetic all right so do not sleep on synthetic wigs girl do you see this hair anyway <laughs> i just want to thank you guys for tuning in today and we're going to just kind of do a little recap keep in mind style color hairline and quality with those things in mind you will always find the perfect wig that fits you all right i hope you guys found this video helpful and that you can be confident the next time you go and find a wig at your local beauty supply store happy hair journey to all of you out there so thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye. I think it's crazy how you look my way All the other guys who distract to flip by in bed in it She said I'm lucky if I get